Welcome to Global Information Security Society for the Professional of Pakistan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So we are starting with our second part. Uh, our first part, if you remember, we downloaded this small and we configured it and we looked at the event logs. Now we will download Splunk and we will collect and configure it to collect logs from the Windows event log so we can look at it in a better, better console. So I go to my browser again. Now you go to, for example, if you go to Splunk.com, yes, uh, let's try the typical Google way. Splunk Enterprise Download. Okay, you can say Splunk Download now. Okay, now, okay, we got the link. Now, sometimes it may ask you to do a sign up, like, you know, sign in and then make a profile. So you can make a profile with your public account, like Gmail or Hotmail or Yahoo, whatever you are using. So I will download now this one. This is the latest version, but you can try with the older version also. The, the idea is okay, because Okay, you can see it just gives me some articles and also telling me how to download different stuff. Okay, I think it's still not downloaded. Yes, waiting for me to do something here. You want to should have started, no? By this URL. Let's wait for a few minutes. These are some, <coughs> excuse me, are some videos. To the okay. So you can once you, you are not familiar, you can use these videos, you can use my method. So it is still not downloaded. So I will try this URL. Okay, I'm getting something. Downloads. Okay, so it's working. By the way, we already have we did a session before for the on Splunk. So you can go to our YouTube channel and you can go to our playlists. Uh, to look to search for the channel, you can what you can do, you can type. Let me close this one so I can tell you how to search for our channel. Anytime you want to come to our channel, you can try Kiss Academy and you will find us. And go to playlist. Okay, you will see our Splunk playlist here. We have different subjects on OT and digital transformation, DNS security, digital forensics, Linux. This is our Splunk list. So we have, this is, you can see, we have as one beginner level, we have a demo and we have one, two, one more session about the intermediate level. जो लोग उर्दू बोलते हैं और जिनको इंग्लिश में प्रॉब्लम है तो वो इनको देख सकते हैं इसमें काफी आसानी से एक्सप्लेन किया गया है इसमें मैं भी इंग्लिश में इसलिए करूं ताकि मेरे ऑडियंस जो है वो ज्यादा है कि मैं सब लोगों के लिए करना चाह रहा हूं तो लेकिन आप इसमें अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी तो हम उर्दू में भी कर देंगे लेकिन इसमें ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल है आप वो भी देख सकते हैं विल गो बैक टू अवर ओके डाउनलोड स्टिल हैपनिंग ओके इट विल टेक सम टाइम ओके सो just to have a recap what we did before we installed sysmon we can see here if I, my session is still open here see we installed with the default configuration then we downloaded a file we generated some events then we downloaded a file and we do we update the configuration which was taken then we do a data ping and then we go and saw the events so here we can see all the events now looking at these events is okay here, but you know, it doesn't give you like, it's very difficult to go through each of them one by one. So the best option is to collect them and then look at look at them via an via Splunk. That will make life much easier and much, you know, simpler. That's why we are going to use this one. And let's try something more because if you remember, we tried this command with, okay, we go to again cd backslash cd windows
Okay, we'll try this command and we'll try something else also from the side from the red canary. Okay, now this one we'll go and check. This is another command on PowerShell. Let's check something which we can. Let's try this one. I'm hoping this file is available there. Okay, so it did something. Okay, so it creates. Now all of them, they made network connections. So if I go back to the logs, because I put a new configuration, so I'm, I'm hoping that I should get some logs here, show me which show me the network connections. System got busy, I believe, because of this huge load. We have 1042 here, okay. Okay, so you see, you see, you see a uh, uh, calc.exe here, and see, you see a uh, uh, going, uh, going to a connection going to a website. Here, here also, you see this one WMIC, and you see a connection going to this public IP address. So, this is the logs which is captured because of the new configuration. Here again, you see a query to this one raw.githubusercontent.com. And again, here you see something. Issue is capturing the whole queries and everything. So it's a lot of detail here, actually. You have to spend some time to understand what's these logs. Okay, so we are good here, I believe. Let's see if we still are ready to go ahead or not. Okay, so we're about to finish. Show in folder. This is the latest version of Splunk, by the way. So, you and I haven't installed it before. So, let's try how this looks like. Okay, I accept the agreement. I have to. Okay, let's see the option. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, I'm just putting a password here to see if it lets me go next or not. Okay. So the default password is admin and the uh, default user is admin, the password is changed. So I just put that one. So it asks to go next. Where we are going next now. So on the presentation perspective, we are at this stage now. Download and deploy Splunk.
Okay, our Splunk is installed now. Okay, we'll start now. Okay, username is admin and the password is what we installed that time. So, and save it. So normally it is, looks like this. This is your search and reporting. There will be nothing at this stage because it is totally empty. So you have to click on add data. Okay, we will say add data. Okay, now it just says if you are first time you do a, take a tour, I will skip this one. I, I, my objective is to uh, start the work. So it is asking me to give an option for the operating system. I will go for that option. Microsoft Windows event log, I'll say configure now. Okay, I will use a wizard because I'm we are doing it only for one PC. So for me, I can use this one. But you may have to, if you want to use from some other server, you have to do this something more. But for my I, I everything will be on one server. Okay, this is giving me some ideas. See it's configure security group from the Windows host, how install a forward on each. Okay, so I'll go next. Verify your data is being ingested. Okay, so we'll, we'll take this query. I'll put it in a notepad here. If I need to, if I need it again, I will use it. This is a good thing, like a visit base, but as I mentioned before, So I don't think anything will happen because we haven't done anything for this one. Like there's no logs configured or something for this one. I'll go ahead and check the data inputs. Okay, so I have to pick this one. So I'll pick the application security system. And if you remember, I told you about the Sysmon. Sysmon will should be here somewhere about Microsoft Windows, 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 Windows. Now see this, this, this is a, for a local one for testing purpose only. But when you do, when you work in the production, you will have something different. So you will have something like this. I will show you my notes here. Mm, sorry, I have to find it where it is. Um, downloads. Okay. Uh, normally, I, I'll show you that one. Uh, I'll show you that later. Okay, so this is the log that we're looking for. So I will put a default in there so that it's if you want some other log also, what else we can use? I think these three are good here. If you want more? I think I have a semantic log here. Let me see if I will take that one also. Press S, it show me. So it's a lot of, lot of data here. This is, you can monitor all these logs. And we are, this will become, make it life much easier if you can do all of them. But yes, we don't need all of all the logs for now. So we'll only focus what we need. I'm just trying to see if I can find something better here, which we can use. No, I think it's okay. We are, we are good to go with the existing one. Okay, and let's pick the uh, index is equal to mean and save it. Okay, and it is enabled now. So now it is enabled now, it really should start working. Go to search and reporting. 
Remember, we made a we copied a big query, but we don't need a big query. We just start with this. We say index is equal to mean and see what we get. And voila, here we go. We are getting all the laws from which the research is security application system. And you can see it's a lot of laws from Sysmon. So now you can see all the laws from Sysmon. I will just pick it as a source and you can see so many logs. Now it's a list view. I will make a raw view you can, or you can make it a table view. So let's uh, use a list view for now. So you can see all the logs are coming here. Now, what we can do to make it much better, let's see down here. What is the source type? Okay, we need to log. Is the extraction is complete? Is it extracting all the, uh, let's see, I'll close it. Okay, so yeah, we can see everything here. We can see the image, we can see the keywords, log name. So what's the next step is what you have to do. You have to, you want to make it look it in a better way. So what you can do, you can, let's, I use a notepad. I'll make a table, underscore time. And what else I need here? I need, I need image, I need, Parent image. I hope I'm putting the right okay, parent image yes, without space. Okay. I need to, I will say event code, which is the event code used by, okay. So to, to see those fields, okay, you can see down. Okay, let's put the computer name also here. I think host will be two also, or we'll just try to both. So when I, then I can remove one of the column. I'm doing it as, as we are doing right now. Okay, I will put image. So I haven't done this one before on this cell machine. So apologies for any mistakes. Okay. Uh, Okay, let's put the rule name. Let's, let's put the rule name. Let's put the user. And now see, let's see what we do get from this one. So this is a see, this is just a simple way to see things here. Go up. I just put a pipe here. Put my command. And here we go. Actually, let's put it. Uh, So now you can see the desktop. As the both are same, so I can remove one of them. I can remove the computer name. Okay, so I can I see I see the image. I see the current directory. Okay, maybe there's a mistake in my spelling, and I cannot see the parent image and all that. Or maybe I see for some other. Let's see. No, okay, it's for it's correct. So I can see it from some other ones. Okay. Now this is okay. Event code, event code is missing. So I put event code here. No, it wasn't the last, so I um, have my bad. It was not showing here. So what I do, let me make it big screen and we go to the end. Uh, we cannot see the rule name, and but we see the event code, which is mostly one, as I said. Okay, why the rule name is not there? Okay, yes, we have some rule names now. Okay, now if you see here, I'll show you something interesting. Today we did on 18. You see some even from 17 January, which is, you remember, it was coming from different places. Like I saw something about Google here. Parent image. From so there's a lot of data here. So if I go and just check by yesterday, not today. So 
there will be events from yesterday which are not available today because we did we use this uh, this uh, new configuration that is closed now. Okay, so we see this one. Now all this law you can review and it is as a, as a lot, so you can export it, look it in the Excel sheet, and then based on that you have to modify the file and to uh, continue with the uh, you know this one uh, fine tuning. So hopefully you should be able to get more more data. So this I will stop the video here. So this is just part one, okay? And like uh, you can see the the first part which is just uh, configuring syscall and collecting the logs using Splunk. And in the next step, if we need, if this is a requirement, we'll do another session to see how to fine tune and all that. Now, to just give you an example, how the uh, Excel can be modified, I'll just do, a, do it quickly here. Remember, I had this folder in the, my downloads. It, it was here, and this was my file, remember? I'll open it with Notepad Plus. Okay, see, this is the event ID one, and it is the uh, exclusion. So you want to exclude something, you want to add something more, what you do, you copy this section. Make a Notepad new. Okay. I will say Splunk. So what you can do, you can, uh, wherever your path is uh, for the Chrome, you can put Splunk path. For example, I think we saw something for Splunk. If I check for the last 60 minutes only, we'll see a lot of logs from Splunk. And Notepad Plus, for example, is there. Let's see what else. Okay, what we can do here is when the good way to see stuff. Okay, so I'll click in the boss mode. I'll go to events again. I'll click on images here. Okay, so which one? Okay, see, we have a lot of issues from so a lot of uh, things from Splunk. Okay, so I'll pick this one. And I will not put this, I will say everything from this place. Let's see how much we got. And I'll make it a little bit more, I'll say it four hours. Okay, instead we have only 60 minutes. So we have 1084 events. Now, if you want, for example, you don't want to uh, any loss coming from this. So there's a good thing about Splunk is, you can do a small here. This is just one small example where you will see you can just so how fast is how quick how good is this? Okay, let me add one more five and see. Sort minus count. Descending. Okay. Descending. Okay, so we see we see 842 only from this guy and we see 88 and all that. So I, I actually I want to exclude, I don't want to, uh, like for example, if I am doing in a company and I have many Splunk forwarders, I don't want them to be to, to come as a process. I want to exclude them. So what you do here, in this file, you just replace this path. See, this is a command line argument. Okay, we don't want command line, we want an image one. So I'll go back. I'll pick something else, which is the image condition, like this one, media player. So I'll pick this example. This is just for to, to be on safe side, so you don't, uh, you know, because we are not ex expert for this thing, so we just, we don't want to manipulate with too much. We want to be safe. So, okay, here I go. I have to be very, very specific on this part. Okay. Oh, okay, my bad. Uh, let's go back here. Copy. Go back here. Paste. So, and here we just put anything. We just say uh, Splunk service. So you can add all the Splunk services. 
like this put it back in the xml okay update update the configuration and then it will disappear so we have 842 for this guy only and we have uh, let's see uh, i'll go back i'll put one more line here not this one i don't need this one again so i'll just show you this one so what is the second one for example splunk d i use this one now splunk d okay and let's add one more now third one is b tool actually okay Let's try. Let's see if there's a change in the count. So there's still the top three. So I'll use the third one. This one. So let's uh, go with these, these three only for now. Let's copy them. We'll go back here. Enter. So because you see this is a mistake here. So I'll put You know, it was there to lease. Just bring it with everybody else. So, so it's okay. I think we are good here. Everything is fine. I'll save it as. Save as. This one config. Now this is, I will make it three. Dot XML. Done. Now I go back here. Remember my commands. Okay. So it is three now. Okay, this one completely is was error, so this is good. So at least we can see what happened. Okay, what line it was seeing? Line two one six, column eighty six. We just made the syntax up. Okay, let's see.
Okay, it looks okay now, I think. Why it becomes green now? There's something wrong here, I believe. It's not clear what it is, but something wrong with these two lines. Okay, let's try one thing. Let's remove these two lines and we are good here, I believe. So now let's add one more line here. Doesn't make sense because just uh, a clear syntax here. Image condition condition is equal to this. No. Okay, show some problem here. So I will stop this one because it doesn't make sense actually. Let me see again. Okay, this could be a reason. It has only one year. Okay, so just match the exact syntax here. I think we are good here now. Yes, so okay, it's green now. I can add even one more line now. Okay, these kind of things, you know, we don't know, but. Okay, so it is green, green, green. So we are good here, everything. Save. And close it, close it, close it. Go to the command again. So it took us some extra time, but okay, we are done here. So now, I don't think I need to stop start the assessment configuration, which is already updated. So if I go back to Splunk now, and let's say if I'm, I want to look for these events in the four hours, they should start disappearing now. So actually, let's remove the table. I don't want. To. I just want to see that we we have even or not from this process. I can even make it a bit like five minute. So. See, before it was coming 58 events, now it is starting reducing. So after the while, it will not be giving any event for Splunk. For the, for the three services which we added there. See, it's going down. Two more minutes and may not, we may not have anything here. Okay, we got it. So this is how you exclude. So within a minute, we will not, we're not getting anything now from there. Okay, so I'll stop the session here. I hope you will find this useful. I, I try to keep it simple because uh, I don't really want to make a big, much longer session and which may cause more issues. And so if you need more, uh, if you need any more in information, you can contact me or you can leave a message here and I will reply to you as, uh, as soon as possible. I also had an article about this one, so you can also use that one. Thank you. Thank you again. And I'll stop this session now. Bye-bye.